Colin Morgan, reading for the part of Todd. My mother would sometimes inform him that what he was saying wasn't exactly true. He'd simply tell her to be quiet and that the people would hear what they want to hear based on their own interests. And he was right. I mean, he won the general election for senator by a landslide. And, well, that's when things really started to get ugly. <laughs> He gave a speech where he talked about there being enemies within and that there was Soviet infiltration within the United States government. The Soviets had already gotten their grubby red hands in other countries' governments. They were in mm -hmm. Albania, Poland, mm -hmm. Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. So people thought they were trying to face out the white and blue in America and just stick to the red. He kept a list of those in the government he found to be traitors. You never knew what was coming next. But that's what captivated the people. He was a demagogue, and they played into his hands. They hung on his every word, eagerly waiting the next target, the next opposition. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was like watching a dramatic television show, and he was their hero. The element of surprise never gave them a chance to actually think. The threat was real. Communists had won China's civil war. The Soviets tested their first bomb. Mm. There were legit espionage convictions no, against no, American no, citizens. No, no. But, but things started to go bonkers in a hurry. He whipped out that list of supposed traitors everywhere he went. And the numbers always changed. 205, 57, 81. He hurled numbers out like someone behind a deli counter. The public didn't know if they were getting honey glazed ham or spice turkey, but let me tell you. They ate it all up, and it made them emotional. The Red Scare. My father was a journalist at the time. He questioned facts, and he questioned numbers. He was eventually branded a traitor, blacklisted, and, uh, well, he couldn't even go out in public. One time he was sprayed with silly string from a passing car. Another time, at a rally, he was poked in the eye with a miniature American flag. And another time, another time on a Sunday, he was just enjoying a day at the park. Somebody came up from behind him and yanked off his toupee. Mm. It hurt a lot.